Hello and welcome to Paradis Diaries. This week we are going on an adventure, Antir Advent. In November 2017, we moved to the beautiful Unismorn, the island of Anglesey in northwest Wales, to begin the adventure of developing a 12 acre small holding and planting a church, all while learning to be parents for the first time. Moving to a tiny rural village called Paradis, which is Welsh for paradise, our pioneering journey has seen us venture way out of our comfort zone, trying new things, succeeding at some and facing challenges in others. This is our way to share our journey, encourage you with yours, and of course, share plenty of inspiring scenery and cute shots of animals and our young family. We are the Radbourne family, and this is Paradis Diaries. So yes, welcome to Paradis Diaries. So with our church, Lighthouse Church, Capo Galedimon, we have created an initiative this year called the Adventure or Antir Advent that is looking to bring hope and joy to spread across the island through a daily acts of kindness challenge for each day of Advent that has gone out to 2,000 children across our island. So 14 primary schools and two secondary schools. And we're really, really excited by it, but it was a lot of work. So today we are gonna show you a little video of kind of the journey to packing all these tubes and all of that, all of our amazing volunteers and people from our community that have come down to help out. And um, yeah, we will see how it goes. We're just very early days at the minute in the challenge but we're really excited about the impact this can have on our island. So I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, so great news. The tubes have arrived for the adventure pack. So the last thing is finally here and we are ready to get packing. <laughs> However, I think we underestimated the size of 2000 tubes. You ready? Just for scale. Yeah, that's right. There's one or two to pack and there's another row on top that we've had to um, take off because it didn't fit in the delivery lorry. So here we go. Packing begins. Come on team, we can do this. Need to get them packed by Thursday at the latest. So delivery can happen Thursday, Friday, ready for the schools to hand them out. And then for uh, 2000 children across the island to get on with um, the adventure challenge. Come on Lighthouse, we can do this. So hi, my name's Alan and I help to lead Lighthouse Church Anglesey here in North West Wales. And we've got an initiative this year called uh, Antir Advent or Adventure, which is a daily acts of kindness challenge that 14 primary schools and two secondary schools, year seven and eight, have signed up to, which is 2,000 children on our island are going to be taking on this um, acts of kindness challenge to just spread a bit of hope and joy this festive season because let's face it we all need a bit of that at the minute we're in the middle of packing due to delays of delivery we've just got three days to pack 2,000 packs so that is why we've set up this amazing um, hub where people can come and help um, pack these from acro across our community and actually from across the island people are coming to help out to pack these things so in the packs um, each child will get one of these posters, Antir Advent, with daily challenges on. They get a letter to their parent with lots of encouragement in it. Um, an invite to our Lighthouse Church, Capital Galady Chris Dingle, but then also all the church services happening across the island. They get this, uh, the Bible Society Christmas story for this year. Um, it's all been funded through the um, Five Ways to Wellbeing um, <laughs> initiative. They get a magnet, some um, cards to be able to hand out. To different people after they've done it so they can share it on our Facebook page what it's meant to them to create this legacy wall of hope and joy in the festive season and then of course some Freddo's Haribo oh and some daffodil bulbs because we need to plant more daffodils in Wales don't we no but one of the challenges is to plant daffodil bulbs 
So it is an amazing initiative. I hope that you are inspired and encouraged viewing this. We are so excited about the impact this will have on our island and beyond, and really look forward to seeing what it might become in the future. You can see the piles of tubes behind me that are still yet to be packed, so I'd better get back to it. But do follow our story at capelgaledimorn.org, and you can find all the information there or on our Facebook page, Lighthouse Church Morn. We're getting there. These are the ones done, and we're, our little happy help has woken up and is now helping. Tia Marshiver. Right. That one won't be going in a pack because that's been in Teresa's mouth. <laughs> so, after an absolutely mammoth effort, people giving so much time, I'm so, so grateful to everyone that came and gave 10 minutes or an hour, or five hours, or I think some of you gave 10 hours. Just thank you so much for all the time and investment, the late nights that were put in, um, the willingness to just stand there with a mask on and go through all of that. Thank you so much to Ebenezer and Carl for allowing us to use that space as well, because we had some in our house, um, and it felt like chaos, and it, it was only a quarter of them, so absolutely amazing. Uh, effort by everyone so thank you so much so they were all packed up and ready to go and were delivered on Friday again thank you to all the people that delivered to the schools and they've been rolled out and we know that they've um, yeah got into the hands of loads of different kids and that there's lots of goodness coming from it already so yeah we'll see how it goes do track with us um, on our Facebook page or on uh, online on our Sunday gatherings as well so we're live on YouTube uh, for the next two weeks and if you are local to Anglesey do come along to our Chris Dingle gathering which um, will be at Mona Showground on the 20th of December uh, we ask that you register beforehand for track and trace purposes um, but as a church we are allowed to um, have unlimited numbers as long as we can socially distance and that it is for a service and so uh, that is why we can do it and it will be a great festive celebration of all things Christmas just before Christmas just after the schools have broken up and we can uh, enjoy and look forward to to this form of Christmas and whatever it will look like for you um, and your family this year. So that's all we've got time for today on Paladra Stories. I hope you have enjoyed um, yeah, exploring a little bit more about what we get up to through church as well. And I will see you next week um, here on Paradox Diaries.